Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Monday, what means another Facebook video with some fun facts to get you started for your weekend. Now, I told you this week was going to look a little different, right? Because today's facts are all about the dairy industry. And I told you that I was going to present this video to you from my family's farm. And I wasn't lying. Here we are. I've got some cows in the background. Say hi, cows. Now, we are going to go around the farm and see what we can find out. And our first stop is the milking parlor. So come on with me. So you know how I said the first stop was, was going to be the barn, right? Like to see where, where the milking takes place and meet some of the cows. Um, I got distracted. And our first stop actually was to say hi to Smokey. Yes, one of the many great things about living on the farm is that I was able to also have a horse and uh, he's good at helping keep, you know, the grass down in the waterways. So everybody earns their keep on the farm. Even the dogs are out hunting something. But look how happy he is to see us. He's thrilled. <laughs> Go ahead, tell him how thrilled you are. Yep, that's good. Between you and me, he's really only impressed that I'm here because that means he gets grain. See, he thinks he's coming along because there's a bucket of grain over by the fence. But that's beside the point. Smokey will get his grain, and the next time we see you, we will be in the barn. Welcome to the barn. The sounds that you hear in the background are the fans that we have to keep the cows cool while they're in the barn being milked, and us on these really hot days. And it's also the pump that we use to run our system um, and it helps the milk flow through the pipes and into the bulk tank. Now, that brings me to a fact. The first regular shipment of milk was by railroad, and it went between Orange County, New York, to New York City. And that first shipment happened in 1841. Now, our milk here on the farm is picked up every other day by a milk truck. And we send around 4,000 pounds of milk to the creamery within that truck. Now, if we think about that, one gallon of milk weighs eight pounds, roughly, right? So let's do some maths there. We send approximately 500 gallons of milk from our farm to the creamery every other day. The other really cool thing about that is it takes 48 hours for the milk that comes from the cow to the creamery to the grocery store. That process is only about 48 hours. So by the time you watch this video, the milk that we picked up will be making its way into stores for you to enjoy. Wow, it was loud in there. Now remember that bulk tank I mentioned that keeps our milk cool until the milk truck comes to pick it up? Well, here it is, right here. This tank holds all of the milk that we collect from the cows until the milkman comes and picks it up, takes it to the creamery where it is then pasteurized and homogenized and packaged and bottled to send to you all at the store. Now the milk has to be kept at a temperature between 37 to 40 degrees to make sure that it stays cool. It's constantly um, being stirred or churned to make sure that it doesn't, the, um, the cream doesn't separate like when, um, people collect their own milk and they make they would separate the cream to make butter right we keep it all together and it's separated at the creamery so that way um, it can be used to make butter or cheese and then also made into milk now I told you we were going to have some guests join us and my guests this week are my father and my sister and they are over by some of our other pens so let's go see if we can find them watch out kitties I don't know sometimes if we're raising cats or cows, there's all kinds of animals on this farm. Now, one of the important things to remember is that there's a lot that goes into farming. There is the constant care and maintenance of the facilities, making sure that the cow yards and the pens are cleaned and scraped and the animals have fresh bedding to lay down on, making sure that the cows are fully milked out, that they're not harboring any of that, which could lead to an infection. It actually only takes about five to seven minutes for a cow to be completely milked. Um, and so there's so much that goes on and making sure that our farm is always running smoothly, is always running at its finest and fullest capacity, and making sure our animals are always in the best health that we can get them there too. So in th saying that, let's continue on our journey across the farm to find my dad and my sister and see what they're up to this morning. 
So on the farm, we have a lot of different animals and the animals that haven't had babies yet, we call heifers. And we have a group of heifers right here behind us. Our heifers are grouped according to age so we can keep track of how fast they're growing, how much they're eating, make sure that they stay up to date on the shots and vaccinations. What are the ages of the heifers behind us? They were born in April of last year. And what are they eating? Uh, dry hay. A green mix and a little bit of corn silage. Reagan, do you have any of your show heifers in this group? Yeah, the one right behind us right here is a show heifer. Who's trying to eat my shirt? Mm-hmm. Yes. I caught that video of my dad and my sister while they were doing chores, so they thought it was kind of fun to, to join me there. They wanted to yell, hi Robin, hi Robin's friends, hi Robin's people, you know, to the camera, but uh, I told them maybe I'd have to put that in the blue for real. On the farm, we have a number of different hi, animals. <laughs> dad. Now, to kind of go along with what Reagan was saying, we've got pens of cows behind us. And we also have heifer pens on the other side of the farm as well. But I am currently following my father and he's headed to the cow yard because I want to show you what our cows eat and how much they have to eat in order to stay happy and healthy here on the farm. <clears throat> So in the dairy industry, there are seven recognized breeds of dairy cows. The most common one that you see is the black and white one. They're called Holsteins. And then there's Red Holstein, Jersey, Brown Swiss, Ayrshire, Melking Shorthorn, and our favorite, the Guernsey cow. We milk Guernseys. My dad grew up milking Guernseys. And we, when we started showing cows, he decided that we should start milking Guernsey cows as well. Dad, who is this right here with us? Uh, this is Boohoo. Dad, what do the cows eat? They get a mixture of corn silage, hay, uh, corn, uh, mineral mix, which contains all the vitamins and minerals and, uh, and the good stuff they need. And then they get a uh, corn gluten pellet, which is a byproduct of the ethanol plant. And how many pounds of food does a cow need per day, roughly? These cows eat 100 pounds of feed a day. And, fun fact, they drink about 50 gallons of water. So we fill the bunks with food for them to eat. Um, and it's so how much feed does that mean that you mix for the cows? I mix uh, right now 3,000 pounds a day a day in one day These cows eat 3,000 pounds of food. I don't even think I can eat that much in quarantine So there you go a small tour of the K Valley farms up in Northeast Iowa and one final hello from a friend behind me now in the United States, this is your last fact today, in the United States there are only about 37,000 dairy farms left and here in Iowa there are only a little over 1,300 and we are very pleased and proud to be one of those 1,300 farms here in Iowa. Every time you buy dairy products you support your local farmers. Milk only takes uh, 48 hours to get from the farm to the store. We get it there that fast so it stays fresh and it helps benefit your family with all of the nutrients that you um, that you get from drinking milk. One glass of milk is seven oranges or six slices of bread or a ton of broccoli and really do we really want to eat that much broccoli? Of course we do. Broccoli is good for you too. But the nutrients that you get from one glass of milk are just as important. So remember, every time you drink a glass of milk or eat your favorite cheese or celebrate something with your favorite flavor of ice cream, you are supporting the dairy industry and you are supporting family farms just like mine. So join me next week again for some more fun facts on Monday and join us this week for our game night on Thursday for our gathering and book study Wednesday night and also for Lemonade on the Lawn on Friday. Don't forget to tune in also for a daily dose of Dave at 210. Until then, friends. Bye.